Hello, my name is Christian Overland, and I am here today with Kim Tarr. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about a lesson that you gave to second graders on the subject of snails. And I found that intriguing when you sent me this little note telling me about your lesson on snails. And you also used a tool called the Conversation Starter. I would like to ask you about your lesson. First of all, how did it come about that you, you gave a lesson on snails? Well, in our reading curriculum, we have a book called No Longer a Nobody by Matilda Nortvet. And in the book, um, of the little boy does not have a pet for the pet fair, and he f ends up finding a snail. Well, he's wondering, is a snail a good enough pet? And it made me think of God's creation and how God cares for even the littlest creatures. And yes. I started to think, let's focus more on this. Let's focus on God's creatures. I had the boxes and I started with creation. And, and what was the question you had there? How do snails show the creator? And, and then my next step was to find um, Bible verses to back that. Okay. So that I could read the Bible verses to the kids. And we, would, we talked about each box. Okay. And under humanity, what did you put? How can we find real joy in snails? Interesting question. Like a grade level. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. And, and then under the area of moral order? What is best about snails? What's the best? Fascinating question. I can imagine what the kids came up with here in your conversation. And then in the area of purpose? What purpose does God see in a snail? Huh. And finally, the area of God. How do you think God feels about snails? All right, let me just make a comment here. The thing that I, I appreciate about the conversation starter is that as a tool for helping a teacher to be biblically integrative, there's a nice balance here. Here, You're not always headed towards moral order, or you're not always headed towards uh, creation, but you're getting in the humanity element uh, and the purpose. And I, I like the balance here. Um, so you prepared ahead of time. You weren't just winging this, right? No, and that's, that's the key, I think, is to find your questions and to find the Bible verses that back the questions ahead of time. So you have a, big, a bigger, broader concept for the whole okay. lesson. Okay, so you, pre you use this uh, tool as a preparation tool, and then what happened when you taught the lesson? What was the process you went through? So what I did is I divided the kids into five groups, and each group was in charge of one box. So what happened is we went over on the document camera. I went over the verses and over the questions. And then I had the groups break up, and they wrote their answers to that question on a big butcher piece of paper. Each group then was working simultaneously in their table, so to speak. Yes. And they were talking to one another. But yes. you had told them, okay, you, this group over here is going to talk about what do you think God feels, how do you think God feels about snails. Yes. And so they were talking about that as a group, while this other group's talking about what joy can we find in snails. Exactly. Okay. And I told them they could answer, they had to discuss amongst themselves, um, uh -huh. and then they could write their answers. So they could also draw pictures to um, go with the, the little box. So they're all in their little groups, and they're thinking, they're talking, they're writing down ideas, and then what happened? Then after um, the time was up, they each group got to get up and share, and they really, really enjoyed that. Um, one was appointed the speaker for this situation, and they were able to speak um, and, and explain their um, chart, and they were so excited about it that they, they wanted to hang them around the room. They were like, can we hang our charts up? So we hung the charts, each chart up around the room, and they were very proud of them. Oh, that's great. And how long did the charts stay up on the walls? They stayed up for probably a month. Really? <laughs> <laughs> did you have any parent visitors that came in and said, what's that? <laughs> they, they were like, oh, wow, snails. You know, a lot of people <laughs> don't really think about snails, I personally have always loved snails, and that's so. <laughs> oh, I see. I, so um, it was but, kind of it was neat. But you know, Kim, I think this points out the fact that there there is not a single academic topic that you couldn't 
contextual. I, I like to use the word contextualize, putting, putting that subject into the context of this yeah. bigger picture of reality. There was another uh, occasion where you used the conversation starter uh, yeah. with your kids. Um, you were doing a study on uh, uh, Annie Sullivan, I believe, but, yeah. right? Yeah. How is it that you decided to use the conversation starter for this lesson? What prompted you to think this might work well? Well, you know, we do not see a lot of blind people, the, the, the people, we, the children haven't been exposed to that. And so I wanted them to think from God's perspective Yeah. Of, about Annie Sullivan, blind, what was her life like? What did God think about her? And how yes. does God view her? Yes. And I have actually a copy of one of the um, conversation starters that uh, one of the students did. And I, I gather on this lesson, you actually handed out the, the physical conversation starter, and you had them write in answers to these boxes, correct? Yes, each child had their very own in this case, uh -huh. um, and they were able to decorate them afterwards. Great. You look through your list of possible questions, and you selected certain quite one question for each component that you felt would generate some conversation. Yes. So tell us what you picked for uh, the uh, God box, and let's walk around here. How do you think God feels about Annie Sullivan? Once again, I was using the questions um, for integration that were available for for me. And I, I just looked through the questions, and, and that's the one I chose for this lesson. Yes. How do you think God feels about Annie Sullivan? Yes, and the creation box, what did you put there? I had, after God created the world, he said it was good. Was it, what is still good about being blind in this fallen world? Wow, that's a remarkable question. And again, are these second graders? They are second graders, and this was an amazing lesson. I have to, <laughs> this <laughs> well, so, so deeply and and it was just very 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 good <laughs> so they connected to these questions you would they did. then what did they what did you put down in the humanity area what were annie sullivan's positive character qualities beautiful question yeah and in the uh, moral order area how could teaching a blind and deaf child be done in a god honoring way wow um Let's talk about that a minute. What did they come up with on that one? They said that they could, they could teach sign language with patience. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. One of the, they wrote, be calm and don't get mad. Good point. <laughs> keep trying. If it's hard, if they don't understand some of the language, keep trying. That, that's a great question. And by the way, it's a question they would never get in the state school. You no. know, <laughs> all of these questions, they would never get there yeah, because that's off limits now. Mm -hmm. What you're doing is you're really peeling the onion, as I say, going down deep and saying, let's grab hold of God's view of all of this. I love it. How about the area of purpose? How did Annie Sullivan give Helen Keller more purpose in her life? So how long did this lesson take? This took... Um the thing they broke into groups and then each group shared a little bit and then we wrote together their box okay so each group had their scriptures they were talking about it they were able to share so this was like a two-day lesson i divided the class into groups and each group had a servant leader a, a scribe and a presenter and then the other two in the group were there to help you know give the information so for example one group was assigned the god box and that question, how do you, you think God feels about Annie Sullivan? Then they had the scriptures. So the leader read the scriptures. The kids were writing their ideas. Then they presented the ideas. And then the next day, we took that and we wrote it. Everybody wrote the same major components in that box. Gotcha. Is there anything else you want to say about the Annie Sullivan lesson before we wrap this up? It just it gave such a deep understanding of... God's point of view of, of both the teacher and the student in that case. And it, it was just delving so deep, deeper than I would have thought that second graders could go. Yeah. I was very impressed. That's great. With their level of thinking skills. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, uh, Kim, for sharing this with us. And I really appreciate what you're doing there at Lighthouse Christian. 
and uh, have great respect for the school that you're working with and uh, just really excited about the direction you folks are going. Thank you.